Hey guys and welcome back. So today I am going to paint this nice looking ice cream in digital in Photoshop using one by Wacom tablet pen and the rest of the basic tools in Photoshop. So let's dive in and let's know how step by step I could paint and you could paint with me too in Photoshop. So the first step is to get this basic sketch of this entire our subject. So for that I love to always work on different layers so that I get a nice complete artwork and also in a non-destructive format. So for that I made a new layer with the hard round brush pressure size and with the brush settings as normal and 100% opacity. So with the very very little tiny size of the brush say 5 to 6 points, I am starting to sketch it step by step like this. I am just tracing over the subject so that I get how exact it's made of like that you could use eraser whenever you think you need to enhance or improve you can just draw number of lines over there as you can see I'm nearby getting the main basic shape of the subject once done just drag and place it on another side so that we have a clear look of what we have sketched out I am quite happy so now it's time to fill up with the base colors. For that I am selecting the area of that sketch particular area wise with magic wand tool. Go to select menu, modify, expand and expand with say 2 pixels and on a new layer, a second layer, I am just painting with the base color that I pick up with the eyedropper tool. Similarly repeating the process with the another Space, another subject part and for that I am again using a new layer. So each part that I am painting is a painting in a new layer. So that I could improve the shadow highlights and all of the rest of the things area wise with that subject. We are done with the basic color as you can see just selecting it all and just duplicating for my reference so that I could see where my sketch was and how much I have improved on that. So just a little bit placement of my complete subject outline now making the layer masks. For that I am just holding control and clicking on the layer thumbnail and making a layer mask for that particular area so that if I make few more adjustments or lighting shadows this will not hamper the outer edges of the painting with the eyedropper tool simply select the colors that you want to paint with from the original subject layer and with the hard round brush, I am just making some nice color blocking like things. Wherever I think that color would be needed, I am just painting on those places. And refer to that particular layer where the original subject is. Like I have painted this center part of the glass in different layer, so I am just holding that layer and painting the color blocking style for the shadows, color mixing or anything else over there. Just take the reference, select the color from there, paint according to that and you will see how your 
colors are getting improvised. So once done with the, all the colors over the subjects, so now it's time to mix up those. For that, use the mixer brush. You can see the property on a screen. Make the exact properties to get this exact effect. I'm using the soft round brush so that it gets up mixed pretty well with the rest of the colors. And layer by layer, I'm mixing up those. Select that particular layer where you part of that particular part of the subject is. you can see our first school is quite nice and with this I would say that if you haven't subscribed me yet hit the subscribe button right now and get updated each time whenever I post something new about how to paint digitally As you can see, our scoops are quite done. Now it's time to mix up the color of the glass area. So, pretty with that, a nice size of the brush. I'm just mixing up those a little by little. Make sure because you are painting it as a glass thing, the colors are shown beside the glass. So make sure that the what above areas, the area that are the scoop that are having, that similarly it's replicated inside also, so that it's like a transparent thing. It's not a solid color block. Remember always. So now we're painting the last part, that is the base of the glass. I'm just using the smaller size from outside so that it gets a nice blur effect and I'm pretty not happy with the outer edges so I'm just painting with the white area in the mask thumbnail so that I get a clear edge of my subject now you can see how it's revealing 
I'm painting with the white color with the brush tool. Don't select mixer brush, select brush tool and paint with the white color so that it gets a nice if you are quite unhappy with the edges, you can just anytime erase it and re-brush it with the different size. You can get something like this. I think this is quite good. Erasing some of the parts here. And it's pretty done. We are pretty much done with the exact how to color up and mix up our colors to get a nice subject base paint I could say. So to make things more working I am just duplicating the upper glass area and selecting that layer thumbnail for hold control and click on the layer thumbnail to select the painted area. And I'm just painting it with a gray color of that of the base glass color. And with the soft round brush and the darker color, I'm just painting the darker areas in that just a little. Now just blending the layer to multiply mode and just duplicate it and again change the layer mode to the screen. Lower the opacity of both. I'm nearing about 20 to 30 percent so that it looks quite natural. You can see how our transparency effect is there. Now it's turning up more as of a glass, and that red thing is inside that so because the layer is below. So it's quite done. I'm just painting a nice background like this with the selection tool. I'm just selecting the area and painting it over there. making some adjustments in the glass face so that it look more glassy. If you like this tutorial and if you enjoying it, make sure you like the video and subscribe me right now. Now it's time to give some more enhancements to our painted artwork. For that, I am just again duplicating so that you can see the before and after look in front as we go. And I'm just selecting the red painted glass surface, hitting Ctrl U for the hue saturation panel. Increasing the saturation level to near about 50 as you can see, it giving a much more bright color. So I'm pretty happy with it. So I will just hit OK. Now selecting certain area of that particular layer only. With the lasso tool, you can just customizingly select that area as you feel, and again control U for the hue saturation panel. This time, I'm decreasing the saturation quite a bit, and also the lightness. You can see this is turning it a darker way. Similarly, repeating the process, I'm having the another area where I want the highlight to be shown. So I'm just repeating it and increasing the lightness this time so that it increases the brightness, the area of white. Hit OK and hit Ctrl D for the deselection. And now I'm just making few more details on the scoop area. For that, just select that particular scoop layer and paint it with the particular color that you are having in the reference image. You can just select the color with the eyedropper tool and paint it over there. You can see how my result of painting the details is quite looking.
you can either just go ahead to the mixer brush tool and again mix it up over there so that you have a nice smudgier detail not a very hard thing and I think I'm pretty done with the painting of details this time I'm going to just make the complete group of the whole artwork and hit Ctrl G for making group, Ctrl G for duplicating that group and right click and select merge group so that we have all the painted artwork effect everything just in one layer and as we are having uh, another group layer also so we are having preserved all those layers so that we could edit it anytime. So making a duplicate of that particular group layer again I am just making a mask for that one. in one layer it's all about the scope area and in another it's about the glass area with the scoop layered mask I am just going to select filter menu noise add noise and I think uh, 4 or 5 percent of noise will be quite good and for the next I am having the, with the glass area mask go to again the filter noise this time it will be the 10 percent hit ok again this time just select the Gaussian blur from the filter menu on the same layer and with a 3 or 3.5 percent blur it's not getting too much but it's giving a nice glass effect so hit ok you could adjust your properties as you wish or you could just duplicate the settings of mine make a new layer below that all those layers make a new layer and go to filter render clouds clip the area to that particular selected area of the background just lower down the opacity because we are already having a painted grey background so it will be revealing grey color behind those, that and if you are not having any painted background just paint your color over there I am having a quite 30% opacity for that cloud layer and with this I am done with the complete painting from scratch from the sketch, base colors, effects and everything up to make our artwork look pretty good and natural in photoshop if you like this video and want such more interesting projects and digital painting in photoshop make sure you hit like button and subscribe me hit the bell icon to never miss a video update